absolutely massive, massive breaking news coming out of the WWE. This is Sean's View Entertainment on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, prescribe. Send this video over to Facebook and Twitter and Snapchat, Instagram, uh, whatever it may be, Twitter X, whatever they're naming it, whatever they're branding it. Sean's View Damon is the place to be, and that ain't no LIA. Remember to please send a super thanks donation in the comment section below if you support and like what I do. So there's a lot of monumental updates coming out of World Wrestling Entertainment following Monday Night Raw. We already heard about the legitimate injury to Kevin Owens. We already know about, uh, you know, Liv Morgan being written off TV, Kevin Owens being written off TV. But ladies and gentlemen, there is heavy rumors, heavy speculation about me. Major suspensions, major trouble, huge firings in the WWE. We're going to cover that. We're going to get into this right now because Sean's View Entertainment keeps you glued to the screen, whether it be an iPhone, a laptop, a desktop, a PC, a tablet. Sean's View Entertainment is your location to be. And what massive championship match has been made? Ladies and gentlemen, Dominic Mysterio, Dirty Dom, will put his coveted championship on the line. He will put his North American title on the line, not in a one-on-one -on -one match, but in a triple threat match at the Great American Bash. Dominic Mysterio's championship hangs in the balance. Also, ladies and gentlemen, what major star is going to finally start wrestling in the WWE? Gable Stevenson makes his huge decision about his future on NXT. It will be Gable Stevenson against Baron Corbin. Also, ladies and gentlemen, we've got breaking news on Cody Rhodes. And yes, we are going to get into the firemen's, the, fi the potential firings, the potential suspensions on Monday Night Raw. And will this be by design by the game Triple H? Cody Rhodes reveals what Vince McMahon said to, to him before his WWE return. Cody Rhodes is revealing all that and much more because Cody Rhodes' documentary is coming up and it's going to be one you do not ever want to ever forget to see. It's a must-see. Ladies and gentlemen, the viewership is in for the loaded WWE Raw from Tampa. According to WrestleNomics, WWE Raw brought in an overnight average of 1,818,000 viewers with a .57 in the 18 to 49 demographic. What are your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions on that massive number for the WWE? Also, we got breaking news as it concerns... The Rhea Ripley and Becky Lynch feud, it was teased at a live event. We covered this. I talked about this a few days ago, but this is definitely on the WWE's radar for this to go down and for this to happen. Make no mistake about it at the end of the day. Also, Grayson Waller is mocking reports of a major SummerSlam match or a major angle with the likes of either The Undertaker or Stone Cold Steve Austin or The Rock as Grayson Waller has mocked all those three individuals. Also, ladies and gentlemen, Shawn Michaels says yes, he will never, ever wrestle again. He'd rather help out the young guns of NXT. And Shawn Michaels has won it all, done it all. There's nothing more for him to showcase. There's nothing more for Shawn Michaels to impress. Also, what is the WWE? What is the rumor and the speculation? What is the chit-chat? Did Rhea Ripley go too far? Is she going to be fined? Is she going to be suspended? Is she going to be fired? A lot of rumors, a lot of speculation about that going down. And that is something of major report we're working on, whether or not Rhea Ripley will be suspended for her hellacious actions on Liv Morgan, where she went above and beyond. Do you think Liv Morgan should be fined or suspended or fired? Or she may have to be, she might have to relinquish her, she might have to give up her title. Speaking about giving up titles, since Kevin Owens is going to be going for a substantial amount of time, there is heavy rumors and speculation that Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens may have to either drop or relinquish their tag team titles a lot sooner than what was in originally anticipated thanks to the uh, injury to Kevin Owens. What is your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions on that? Also, ladies and gentlemen, again, th that's major coming out of the WWE. Absolutely major, guys. Make no mistake about that. Jeff Hardy says it's a constant battle to elevate himself back to AEW Dynamite. Jeff Hardy says he has one more world title run in him. Is it going to go down? Do you want to see that transpire? Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. Also, viewers, fans, and subscribers, Cody Rhodes says that he will do something for WWE NXT Great American Bash. Will Cody Rhodes show up at the Great American Bash? We all know that Dusty Rhodes has an illustrious history at the Great American Bash. Make no mistake about that at the end of the day. Also, viewers, fans, and subscribers, beyond that, WWE Monday Night Raw, a lot of rumors and speculation coming out backstage revolving and resolving around just what went down during last night. This just coming across my desk, fresh and new for each and every one of you. WWE indeed moved around several segments on Raw this week. 
There was a lot of going back and forth. There was a lot of confliction. There was a lot of switching. And as you can see, Monday Night Raw was, once again, it seemed like it was all over the place. Was Raw, did Raw really serve a purpose last night? Also, ladies and gentlemen, we got breaking news as it concerns Bobby Lashley, one-on-one -on -one with Batista. The feeling in the industry is that that match would be a big box office match. Batista, Bobby Lashley, do you want to see it happen? Rumors and speculation of that happening at the Showcase of Immortals, WrestleMania. Do you want to see that happen? Will it transpire? Ladies and gentlemen, it would be for the first time ever in these men's histories that they go one-on-one -on -one against each other. It would be of truly epic proportions. Yes, indeed, it would. Also, what group is coming back to the WWE? What tandem, what team is coming back to World Wrestling Entertainment? Ladies and gentlemen, they are former World Tag Team Champions, former Intercontinental Champions. Ladies and gentlemen, according to the dirt sheets, the websites, and the newsletters, the New Day will be back on WWE television. The feeling is it will be this year. Are you excited about the return of the New Day? Will WWE destroy or push LA Knight? Ladies and gentlemen, it seems like the WWE is on course to push L.A. Knight. Yeah. Also, WWE management told Cody Rhodes not to go online after his WrestleMania 39 loss. Well, geez, I wonder why that is. Hmm. Also, viewers, fans, and subscribers. WWE main event creatives contributions to NXT storyline. The WWE main roster creatives contributions to NXT storylines is being revealed online. Ladies and gentlemen, a tenured member of the WWE creative team then confirmed to us that it's all discussed. Therefore, the Judgment Day isn't showing up to NXT and just a handed a script that only NXT writers had on it. So it, NXT has a lot more to do than what you think of. The process is a lot more involved than what you think at the end of the day. Also, viewers, fans, and subscribers, recent WWE main roster injuries will not change the booking of SummerSlam. Blockbuster news on the hottest event of the year, SummerSlam. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. Also, we got breaking news on Seth Rollins, your current reigning defending World Heavyweight Champion. The same Seth Rollins that will go against Finn Balor seven years in the making at SummerSlam in just under a week's time. Because according to the dirt sheets, the websites, and the newsletters, and according to Cody Rhodes himself, Cody Rhodes doesn't want to wrestle Seth Rollins ever again. And that is a hell of a proclamation by the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Ladies and gentlemen, send the super thanks donation below. Your comments, your opinions. Share this video to Facebook and Twitter. Have no fear. The brash one is here for each and every one of you. Why? Because I can and I will. Don't you dare be sour. Click that subscribe button. More to come on the hour with Sean View as it happens as it goes down. Stay tuned.